Hey, it's John with Smart Edition Academy, and in today's video, we're going to go over the chemistry section of the TS7. This is a section that a lot of people are saying they're having trouble with. So we decided to release all of the chemistry videos from the Smart Edition Academy online course. So today's video is going to be on scientific notation, and hopefully this will be helpful for you guys. Make sure you check out the links in the description below. There are links to our free practice test, our Facebook study group. And if you want more videos like this, you can check out the T7 full online course from Smart Edition Academy. And of course, if you like the video, subscribe to it. We will be dropping a lot more videos. So I wanna make sure you guys get the notifications on that. So I hope you enjoy the video. Leave comments if you have questions or you need help with anything, we're here to help you and enjoy the video. Sometimes the data we collect can be really big or really small quantities. And that doesn't always make for great data reporting. When reporting values that are too large or too small for manageable data reporting, scientists will often convert data from standard notation to scientific notation. It's pretty easy to do if you know what each part of the scientific notation expression represents. A number in scientific notation has three parts. One, the coefficient, which must have a value of at least one, but less than 10. Two, a base 10. And three, an exponent that describes the magnitude of the coefficient. Let's take a look at how the radius of the Earth's orbit would be reported in standard notation. That's a pretty big number. To convert it to scientific notation, first determine what the coefficient will be. In this case, it would be 1.5, a value of at least 1, but less than 10. But 1.5 does not equal 15 trillion. Can you think of what we would need to do to make 1.5 equal to 15 trillion? If you said multiply by 10 trillion, you're right. That's the same as multiplying by 10 to the 13th power. If we put both of these expressions together, we get 1.5 times 10 to the 13th centimeters, an equivalent value for 15 trillion centimeters expressed in scientific notation. Conversions from standard to scientific notation can also be accomplished for really small numbers like the radius of a hydrogen atom too. Again, determine the coefficient, a value of at least one, but smaller than 10. In this case, 5.29. But 5.29 is not the same as 0 0.000000529 centimeters. This time, instead of multiplying, we would divide by 1 billion to express this as a power of 10. We would write 10 to the negative ninth, which is equal to 1 1 billionth. While converting between metric units is convenient and routine, there may be occasions where you will be required to convert between units of the metric system and the imperial system. Some useful conversion factors are shown here. Let's assume you needed to convert the length of a door jam from 10 feet to centimeters. We know a common conversion factor between inches and centimeters, so it makes sense to start by converting feet to inches. To do this, just multiply 10 feet by 12, since we know that there are 12 inches in a foot. Take your answer 120 inches and multiply by 2.54 centimeters. We do this because we know there are 2.54 centimeters in every inch. Voila! The unit of equivalence for 10 feet is 304.8 centimeters. The more practice you get with unit conversions, the more comfortable you will be at performing them. 